Hi there, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is alongside me here in the French capital. We're at the Parc des Princes. Paris Saint-Germain today involved in our match versus Manchester United. A couple of exceptional talents in a really good game that we might be focusing on. Well, two excellent attacking players we are treated to seeing. I'm really enjoying good seasons and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today. Alan, we spent some time here in the European Championship of 2016, but actually I was commentating on that uh, final in the same competition in 1984 when France won a real hometown victory and a great place for that kind of occasion. Certainly is. I mean, that uh, tournament, Michel Platini et al. It uh, evokes wonderful memories and this stadium well capable of generating a fantastic atmosphere. Paris Saint-Germain, this is their lineup. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Thomas Meunier starts with Livan Kuzawa as the fullbacks. Marco Verratti plays alongside Adrian Rabio in the middle of the park. Edison Cavani is the main striker today. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Phil Jones starts with Chris Smalling in central defence. Alexis Sanchez starts with Jesse Lingard out wide. Romelu Lukaku is the sole striker today. The kick-off here is going to be a Paris Saint-Germain to get the ball rolling. Read the play well. Neymar. Adrian Rabiot, good strong tackle. It's Jesse Lingard on the attack here. Striding forward purposefully. Cleared away by the defender. Verratti. Thomas Murnier. Rabiot. It could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Neymar. Adrian Rabiot. Baratti, Kozawa, Rabio, Julian Draxler, Livan Kozawa, Adrian Rabio. It's a pass, another pass at the moment, just giving them possession and not. Shot on! Oh, charge down! Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Nemanja Matic. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. No doubt about that. Goal kick. read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception it's Marquinhos Baratti Rabio Neymar Mbappe here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width well, that's great work by the goalkeeper Read the play well to intercept. Everything about Manchester United still seems to revolve around post Sir Alex Ferguson, who achieved so much. And we always felt, Alan, didn't we, that it would be very difficult in the years after he stood down as manager. Yeah, I mean, he's left a huge void. I think he will go down as the greatest club manager that's ever been. I regard him as that anyway, so anybody coming into that job he's going to find it hard living in his shadow (laughs) 
Swung in from the corner. Cleared away, well away from goal. It goes out wide again. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. Well, I guess he was aiming for a teammate, but he certainly didn't find one. Julian Draxler. Adrian Rabio. Ferrati. Cavani. Quick witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Fred, Sanchez. Now Paul Pogba. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went to, straight to an opponent. Mernier. Adrian Rabio. Neymar. Mbappe. Julian Draxler. Possession is the name of the game for this team. Pogba. Fred. Romelu Lukaku. Valencia. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Well, the pressure paying off, it's an aimless clearance. Paul Pogba on the run, and he's got power. It's a good cross. A cross that's fisted away by the keeper. Well, that is half-time, and the score is nil-nil here. Alan Smith, what about Neymar in that first half? Well, let's face it, he hasn't played particularly well. It's been poor so far, and his team needs him in this second half. Kickoff here is going to be a Paris Saint-Germain to get the ball rolling. Here we go in the second half, hoping and indeed expecting a bit better fare than the first half provided. Yeah, managers, both managers, got a bit of work to do just to, to G them up. Need a bit of urgency in the legs. Mbappe. Julian Draxler. Baratti. This is excellent from Paris Saint-Germain. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Alexis Sanchez cleared away by the defender. Pogba opening them up with a through pass. It's not really away, poor clearance. Neymar. Rabio. Trying to slip it through. Mbappe. Berati! Well, he hit it well enough. Yeah, maybe just a bit off balance there, actually. Two substitutions to come, one from each camp. <laughs> Phil Jones. Nemanja Matic. Valencia, Chris Smalling, Valencia, incisive pass, it's in, it's the first goal of the game and it's gone to Manchester United. Oh, it's a well-worked effort and you could sense it coming. to admire the way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net. But the goalkeeper was in a decent position, but he was helpless to uh, stop that one going in.
Manchester United in the lead. Here's Marquinhos. Edinson Cavani. Romelu Lukaku. Pogba. Nemanja Matic. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Ashley Young trying to give some width to the play here. Good cross into the near post. Good defensive clearance there. Manchester United's change about to take place. Diara. Cavani. Well, that will be the goalkeeper's ball as they tried to get a runner in behind the opposition's defensive line. Mernier. Diara. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Good play, but they've lost the ball now. And the opposition can get at them. Don't want to be caught betwixt and between here, Manchester United, just inviting pressure as they defend this lead. Well, history tells you that they don't normally sit back, but this is a slightly different United side. PSG supporters not used to being in this position. And that's a turnover to the opposition. Sanchez. And the referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. A substitution coming up as they look to make sure they hold their lead till the final whistle. Paris Saint-Germain putting together attack after attack, but they need a goal. They do need a goal, and the way things have shaped up the last ten minutes, you can't see one coming, Martin. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. And a Herrera. Good vision from Mata. Still seven minutes left on the clock. Neymar. Pazawa. Asana Diara. Live at Kuzawa. Edinson Cavani. Mbappe. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Neymar. Well, there's the final whistle, and it's a win here for Manchester United. I think they might be looking for another friendly before they play again because they didn't really iron out the wrinkles here. They didn't look very sharp, and they've been beat. No, I think they do need a bit more match practice in order to, to get to the top of their game. It showed here today. A review, if you like, of Paul Pogba's performance from Alan Smith. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him. But as for him... It was a frustrating game for him. He really couldn't get into it and make the sort of impact he was hoping for. That's a big part of why they lost today, I think. A kick-off here is going to be a Paris Saint-Germain to get the ball rolling. Mbappe. Berati! Well, he hit it well enough. Yeah, maybe just a bit off balance there, actually. Incisive pass. It's in, it's the first goal of the game, and it's gone to Manchester United. Oh, it's a well-worked effort, and you could sense it coming. 